Welcome viewers. We have invited a number of artists today and our first two guests are members of Twin Peaks Band. Welcome Naomi and Lindsay. Hi. Hi. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. So please tell us first of all about your roles in the Peace region. Uh, well, we've been a band for about six years now. Mm -hmm. We were both playing to get separately and then we decided to play together. We ended up being Twin Peaks and then stuff kind of took off. And we have, we're just um, going on our first international tour this year. <laughs> We've done a lot of touring, it's been a lot of fun. And it's been really nice, like Lindsay and I are both born and raised here in the piece, and to be able to represent our community, which right. so far it's been just Western Canada and Ontario, but soon the world. Because we never <laughs> pretend we're from somewhere else. No. We always say and Taylor. Good. Peace <laughs> yes. Thank you. And when did you form the band? About six years ago. We put out, well, we did the Rock and the Peace um, competition here at the Lido through the Kin Club, and we won. We won $1,500, so we made an album, and that we released it cost that. cost more than that. Yeah, it cost way more than $1,500. <laughs> and, yeah, we released that in 2012. So, yeah. Right. And what does music mean to you? I'd say it's our lifeblood. Sounds dramatic, but I was going to say exactly the same thing. You, I think uh, <laughs> when you're an artist, when it's in you from the time you're a child, like it's been in me since I was a child, I was always singing and acting and just being a fool. Mostly. And we're both like pretty natural entertainers, I think. And that's what people really like about our show is us communicating with each other in the audience and being funny and bantering and mm -hmm. so it's music is great but also like the community that we're a part of and great. that's also and performing performing is very fun good and what are the best things you like about western canada the natural beauty the it's people. true this year we got to take the train across western canada we took the train from vancouver to toronto and played music on the train and after driving back and forth across the prairies hundreds of times. <laughs> it was a really nice change to see it from a train and to be on a train with a lot of like people from outside of this country that were seeing it for the first time. That was cool. Good. And we realized BC is the best province. By Beautiful. Far. And your group has won many awards. Please tell us something about the awards. The first one we won is a Vancouver Island Music Award. <sighs> people have rarely have heard of it. <laughs> <is> very prestigious. <laughs> They're and that was made a, awards. Yeah, it's made on a recycled record. They were cute. But it's important to us. It was our first award we won. And it was for BC Wide Artist of the Year, which... And back to community, it was just crazy. What? Like, we posted on Facebook, and Facebook blew up. Like, mm. our community is so supportive of us. Everything we do. We've almost won some CBC music contests, but we never quite win. Always a bridesmaid. Yeah, <laughs> but we do love CBC. I mean, they're very we're getting closer. We're get, we have a new song coming out that could win one of those contests for sure. Mm -hmm. And our EP was nominated for a Western Canadian Music Award Good. for Roots Duo Recording of the Year, and our full length won the award mm -hmm. in Good. 2015. And that was a big deal because that's a Western Canada, like half of Canada. And about uh, the current activities. So, what are your current activities and what are the upcoming activities? Uh, the very next upcoming thing is a show September 23rd at Whole Wheat and Honey and we're doing it as kind of an Australian tour kickoff before we fly out on October 2nd. We need to raise a little extra money for the flights <laughs> <laughs> and the overhead of that tour has turned out to be a lot more than we thought mm -hmm. and we want to see everybody before we head off overseas. And we'll be watching your song, String You Along. Mm -hmm. So what's the theme of the song? The theme is dating and being with someone, but... Someone's. Someone's. <laughs> <laughs> and is not being 100% in it and serious about it. So the title, String You Along, kind of sums it up. Is that you're in a relationship, but you're not 100% in it when you've got three boyfriends at one time. Sort of like Trying that. to <laughs> manage it. <laughs> but when you write on a ukulele, it turns out really cute. It sounds cute and it sounds nice, but the actual content is not that nice. Musical manipulation. Yeah. Right, sorry. But it sounds nice. Yeah. 
सॉरी आई नो अ लिटल लेस अबाउट इट आई हैव बीन मैरिड एंड लॉयल टू माय वाइफ फॉर 19 इयर्स दैट्स वेरी ऑनरेबल एंड यू विश टू हैव योर लक एट सम पॉइंट थैंक यू समबडी समवन विल मैरी अस यस इंडिविजुअली एंड सेपरेटली या थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग टू आवर प्रोग्राम एंड यू एंजॉय द वीडियो nice song <laughs> thank you <laughs> and tell us a little more about your music well we've got that song stringy along is a newer one it's not recorded yet and we've got another new song coming out september 8th um and it's called beating heart another cute ukulele song the heart theme songs yeah yeah and um yeah we're releasing it september 8th on just online it'll just be a digital download through itunes spotify google play all the places you hear music mm -hmm. and we're going to Edmonton for the Breakout West conference and showcase to play for some fancy new friends hopefully mm -hmm. so you basically invite industry professionals to come watch a showcase okay. so people that are artistic directors for festivals or run talent agencies you invite them to do showcase and then hopefully they like what you do a bit of an audition so yeah we got to crank up the charm mhm mm charm their pants off yeah 
therapeutic. And yeah. <laughs> I would just, you know, one more question. What does a real artist look like to you? Well, Lindsay and I have talked about Canadian fame and like what level of fame we're hoping to achieve and what being famous in Canada means. And I think if we could get recognized in a Tim Hortons lineup in swift current Saskatchewan, say, <laughs> I think that's making it. It's the dream. <laughs> and I think being an artist, it's, it's hard when you're an independent artist because you're kind of always in a crunch to get things done. It's a hustle. And a if constant you could, hustle. If you could do it, if you had the financial backing or if you were set up, then you wouldn't have all of that rush all the time. I think you could spend more time on your music like a Bob Dylan or Neil Young. They get to, you know, really work out the things they want to say. Just and buy a cabin on yeah. a lake in Kenora mm -hmm. and go for a writing retreat for two yeah. weeks. People not have those options, whereas we are kind of always hustling and not, we don't have as much downtime to just be and... And when we do, it's in our parents' basement in yeah. Beldonnell and Taylor. <laughs> yeah. Not the most inspiring place to write music. No, no. mostly to sleep there. <laughs> sleep a and recover. Sleeping, yeah. Recovery. <laughs> and who's your favorite Canadian artist? Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Well, Lindsay mm -hmm. says Neil Young. I don't know why we're dancing around it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Say, you can talk into the camera. Tell him how Neil you feel. Neil Young, I love you. Neil Young, if you're watching Shaw TV in Fort St. John, do you watch Shaw TV in the piece? Because if love you, you well, she loves you. I love you. Not so much me. Yeah. But I don't and know. I've I love Feist right now. I'm pretty obsessed. I love her new album. And she's a powerful female mm -hmm. Canadian hustler. Thank you.